stop the spread, President Biden, he will implement an international travel ban. CBS 46's Sierra Cummings joins us live at Hartsville-Jackson to explain some of the new restrictions, Sierra. Yeah, researchers call all travel right now a gamble, but starting tomorrow, international terminals like this one will require passengers to have a negative COVID test result within three days of their flight. Very nerve-wracking and just add it to the problems we already have. For passengers like Beatrice Lynn, she's thinking twice about traveling even further for her birthday vacation next month. With two new variants across other countries, Deanne Hurdle is concerned too, eager for the new administration to do something about it. I don't want any more people coming and bringing it over here if they don't have to. The people coming into the country are going to be required to have a test before they get on the plane. When they get off the plane and land here, they're going to have to have a quarantine as well as a second test. The restrictions coming at a helpful time for researchers at Emory Institute who believe the South Africa variant is likely already here. It could be more um, lethal or deadly, but I don't think we have enough numbers or knowledge yet to know that. The chief medical officer for Emory tells us the reason they don't have enough data yet is because new mutations of the virus require new types of clinical measures. We actually have to do more specific testing, not just the presence of the COVID, uh, sorry, SARS-CoV-2 virus. We actually have to look for like those deletions in certain regions of the genome. In simple terms, Emory officials are developing ways to confirm how different one strand is compared to another, a slow but sure process. All they don't know, Kraft argues, what they do know is traveling is more riskier now than ever before. I mean, the travel bans are something in some ways, like the cat's already out of the bag. We don't have a lot of um, uh, ability to stop transmission any longer. And Emory says currently they are sampling to those two new variants to figure out if they transmit at farther ranges, say as opposed to the six feet we already know about. In Atlanta, I'm Sierra Cummings, CBS 46 News. Sierra, thank you. Dr. Anthony Fauci.